In this video, the ATtiny85 module is programmed and interfaced with Mac7219.Metrix module to display characters and numbers. We can easily program the Mac7219.Metrix module by using the LED control library, which has uh, three uh, functions that allow for pixel manipulation on the module. These functions are Citro, set column and set LED. The set row function allows for a row of LEDs to be controlled in a certain row at a certain address. So for example if we want to display this pattern then uh, we use the set row uh, function and the first argument here is the address number the second argument would be the row number and the third argument would be the byte value starting from the most significant bits 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. If we want to display this pattern then we use the set column function and the first argument is the address number second argument is the column number and the third argument is the byte value starting from the most significant bit 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. We can also control individual LEDs on the module by using the set LED function. So if we want to turn on this LED, we use set LED. First argument is the address number. Second argument is the row position. Third argument is the column position. And then we put here true to turn on. If we put false, then it will be off. So by using these uh, functions within the LED control library, we can display any pattern on the module. For example, if we want to display this pattern tiny85, and we want to represent this letter T, then we need to use these two statements and add it in the sketch. This is the circuit diagram that shows the interfacing of the Mac7219.Metrix module with the ATtiny module using SPI connection where the data in is connected to P0, the chip enable is connected to P1, and the clock is connected to P3. We also have a push button connected to pin interrupt 0 of the module. The circuit operates as follows. Before we press the push button, we will see the text Tiny85 on the module. When we press the push button, a count will start from 0 to 9 and it will continue counting until we press the button again to stop the count and we see the text again tiny85. And now for a quick demonstration. We press the start button to start the count. We press the button again to stop the count. A look at the C++ sketch. We need to include the LED control library. And we need to indicate the SPI lines from the Mac7219 module and its connection with the digital pins of the ATtiny85. We also declare this object display and uh, the arguments of the object indicate the uh, SPI lines and also the number of uh, digits on the module. Next we define this two-dimensional array digits which will contain all the patterns for the digits from 0 to 9. So for example for digit 0 this would be the pattern for the first row and this would be the pattern for the second row and this would be the pattern for the last row. Combining all of these patterns will give us digit 0. And we apply the same for digit 1 all the way to digit 9. Within the set of function and using this for loop we initialize all of the four digits of the Mac7219.Metrix uh, module and then we attach interrupt 0 to digital pin D2 of the ATtiny85 microcontroller. 
Inside the loop function, we call this function to display the uh, text tiny85 on the max 7219 module. Inside function tiny85 display, and using the set row and set uh, column uh, functions, we display all the characters needed to display the message tiny85. When we press the push button, interrupt zero occurs, and this boolean variable becomes true. So this if statement is executed, and inside we clear the display, and then we sketch on the module and arrow pointing upwards, and then this function is called digit count. Inside function digit count, and within an indefinite while loop, we call this function and we send the array digits of the ith digit and i is from 0 to 9. Inside function display digit and using a nested for loop and function set LED we display the ith digit on the module. While the digits from 0 to 9 are continuously displayed on the module when we press the push button interrupt 0 occurs again and now the value of uh, this boolean variable becomes false so this if statement is executed and inside we clear the display and then we exit the while loop and go back to the main loop function in a future video the ATtiny85 microcontroller will be programmed to display real-time clock on max7219.metrics display Thank you for watching.